Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Today we are having a look at one gigantic, massive, powerful folding knife by Civivi. This is the Bull Mastiff. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase this knife, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The Civivi Bull Mastiff, available in different G10 colors, micarta as well, as well as different steel finishes, and also a miniature version. But this, this guy is the big boy. Let's get a size reference in here. All right, there is a large permanent marker, and I know, and I know it doesn't look like anything right now, but wait till we flip this guy open. Kablawi. <laughs> look at that. It doesn't even fit in the screen right so if you're wondering how long it is next to a 12 inch ruler here let me bring this out over here all right that's about nine inches from tip to handle ending of the handle and um closed up well hey let's have a look at how big this blade is over here <laughs> it's like a one and a half inch blade i wonder what it is in the front over here yeah just about one and a half inches tall that is crazy all right let's close this up real quick See what that measures on. Let's flip it this way so we can get a better measurement. All right, so closed up, just about five inches. And uh, man, if you're <laughs> wondering about the thickness of the spine, all right, so here is a chopstick. This is the thick side. This is the thin side. So check that out. It's it's as thick as a chopstick, all right. And then if you're wondering about the overall thickness of the blade as you're carrying it in your pocket or the overall knife. Uh, there it is. Just about the same width or thickness as the thicker side of a pair of chopsticks. It's gargantuan. All right, let's get this on the scale here, and I know it's going to be heavy. Yeah, we'll get a 5.5, 5.6, uh, between 5.5 and 5.6 ounces. Now, normally, for EDC knives, I say a deck of cards is a decent weight, but you can see that there's a massive difference between a full deck of cards and the Bull Mastiff. This is a chunker. Opening mechanism is a manual thumb flipper here with jimping around the sides. The pivot point has cased ceramic ball bearings, and it needs it. Flings right open, liner lock on the inside. Of course, they're going to try to save as much weight as possible. You can see the skeletonized lining on the inside. Very easy to close with one hand. You just move this on the side, just like that. All right, let's swing this open and have a look at this massive cleaver design. Man, that just glides open with those Kate ceramic ball bearings in there. But look at that cleaver design. Stone wash finish. I love stone wash finish. Really reduces the amount of wear you see on the blade. This is a flat grind, right, so it's not hollow. Easy to sharpen these guys. We have a fuller cut on both sides to reduce the weight. And again, guys, look at the thickness of this thing. Again, this is the thinner side of a pair of chopsticks. It's it's the same width. I'm going to call that the same width. It is a chunky blade that almost looks like a razor. One of those old school razors. Beautiful, nice big finger choil up here in the front so you can choke up for more control when you're doing detailed knife work. The steel being used on the Bull Mastiff is 9CR18MOV. Mid-grade steel from China, MOV's been around for such a long time. High amounts of chromium is going to make this really good for corrosion resistance. Takes a really good edge and has decent edge retention. Although if you do use it a lot, you'll probably have to sharpen it a lot. But it takes a really, really sharp edge. Let's have a look at these G10 handles. I've seen some with micarta, but nice G10 scales on here. Nice beveling all the way around. They take it all the way around. Has a nice kind of geometric finish. They didn't do it on the edges though. They just went with the rolled bevel on the edges. It's a beautiful G10. You can see the pattern. Just like that all the way around the sides. Silver hardware. So you got some torque screws here if you want to take it apart, clean it, and lubricate it. Let me show you the other side here. All right, pocket clip is reversible to the other side. Lanyard hole here. Matching G10 backspacer. This is a tip-up carry. All right, let's fling it open, have a look. The handle design. Of course, this is going to be big enough for whatever grip you want to throw at it. All 
And just to bring it into, so here is that permanent marker just to show you the size of the grip, the width of the grip. It's almost, that's larger, it's thicker than a permanent marker. Uh, where's that ruler at? Okay. Uh, what is that, an inch? Inch and a quarter? Well, inch and a quarter would be here. Less than an inch and a quarter. But that is a thick, hefty grip. Comfortable in the hand. Again, very easy just to take this lever, throw it over, and close the blade. <laughs> Such a, that's beefy. Let's have a look at what the pocket clip is going to look like when this is buried in your pocket. Oh, that's almost all the way in there. Barely can see it. That's crazy. Going from that to just fully disappearing, that's a deep carry pocket clip right there. Whew. All right, guys, this has been your look at the Civivi Bow Massive. This is one large, powerful chopping folding knife. If you're into large folders and you want to get one with a cleaver profile, this might be the one for you. Well, all right, guys, that's the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase this knife, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.